Hey everybody, welcome to Terry's Tesla. Today we're gonna to take a look at just a thing I've been getting asked about quite a bit since I posted these on social. You might know that recently Tesla added Siri shortcut support to the Tesla app on your iPhone. And I showed some examples. I was you know, showing off using my watch to control my Tesla, open the trunk, close the trunk, um, you know, uh, open the charge port, so forth and so on. And those are all commands that are built in. So. Uh, number one, you can use it built in, but you got to know the right words to say, or better yet, let me show you how to make it so you can say whatever you want. And also, since there's no Tesla app on the watch, I'm going to show you how to, whatever shortcut you create will also work on your watch. So it'll work on your phone, your watch, or anything else you can say, hey, you know, her name to. I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to drive your devices crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you what's, what's going on here. So first and foremost, I've got my iPhone 14 Pro here. And if you, um, if you uh, uh, haven't deleted the Shortcuts app, which it's built in, it's, it's on the phone by default. So I'm gonna swipe down. Mine is already there because I just used it, but I'm gonna search for Shortcuts. And the minute I start searching for Shortcuts, it pops up in the list. Um, and if not, just keep typing out the word until it does. And then you can just go ahead and open it up. Now, it's always going to show you the most recent shortcuts you created. So the ones I created for Tesla are at the top. But as you can see, I've got dozens, if not hundreds of shortcuts because I use Siri shortcuts all the time. And Siri shortcuts are dedicated or dictated by the app. So if the app doesn't have a shortcut feature, then you can't use shortcuts. So a lot of apps, like even, for example, the Marriott app, the Bonvoy app, when I go to my hotel room, I just, you know, hey, hey her name, uh, um, hotel room key, and it pops up the digital room key on my phone. I can just hold it up to the door. So without me having to go to the app, find the key, launch it, so forth and so on. So that's why we use shortcuts. Now, I've got my most recent one here, turn on dog mode. And so, hey, her name, turn on dog mode. And when I say her name, I mean Siri. Turn on dog mode. And it, this one actually doesn't work that well because the phone keeps thinking I'm saying turn on dark mode. And it says, oh, your dark mode's already on, meaning on the phone itself. Because you can also use shortcuts to control features of the phone, like do not disturb and things like that. So I'm going to actually press and hold and delete the shortcut. Now, when I delete a shortcut, I'm deleting my own personal version of it. The app still has it. So you're not, you can't ever delete the shortcuts that are built into the app unless you delete the app itself. So I can always recreate that because the app is still on my phone. Now, I'm also gonna swipe up and show you um, that uh, we're gonna create the one for dog mode and that the climate right now is off and dog mode is not on. So when we do it, you'll see that it turns it on for me. All right, so now let's go ahead and click uh, the plus sign. And this is where you get to search for the action you wanna do. So I don't know what it's called. Let's say I didn't know, I'm just gonna type in Tesla. And um, it will show me the Tesla app and it'll start showing me all the, uh, here, let me go to the Tesla app. There we go. It'll show me all, cause I had a third party app. It'll show me all the Tesla things I can do. So they're all listed here. You don't have to know them by name. Uh, just type in Tesla and it'll show you all the Tesla shortcuts you have. And there it is, dog mode. Now, when I tap it, um, this is the most important thing I can show you. Now, I'm going to get into the what I can and do, can and can't do with dog mode. But more importantly, at the very top, it just says dog mode. And when you rename your shortcut, so I tap the little arrow, I'm tapping rename. This is what controls uh, the app from your voice. So if I just say dog mode, then it's going to do dog mode, but it's going to confuse that with dark mode. So I'm going to double tap on dog and change it to puppy because that's what I want my voice command to be. Now it's still going to activate dog mode because there is no puppy mode, but I'm changing just the name of the shortcut, which in, in effect changes what you ask her to do. And so when I tap the enable disable, I can say enable it, disable it, or ask each time I'm gonna hit enable it. Because usually I don't need to disable it from my phone. I usually disable it when I get in the car. So I don't need a second one. Uh, so puppy mode enables dog mode. So that's it. I just hit done. 
Now, in effect, you've done two things. You've not only created your own custom shortcut, but you've also made it available on your watch. Because even though the Tesla app is not on Apple Watch, shortcuts are. So when you create a custom shortcut, it uses your watch to talk to your phone and execute that shortcut. So that's how I've been doing you know, open charge port, open trunk, closed trunk from my watch because I just created all these shortcuts, my custom versions of them, and that way they now work on my watch as well. Now we're gonna test this out. We're gonna uh, get out of shortcuts. I'm just gonna hold the button so I don't have to say her name. Puppy mode. There we go. So it just told me puppy mode was enabled in uh, on Shuri. So Shuri is the name of the car. So let's get out of this. Let's go actually go check and see that it is enabled. And sure enough, uh, it, it turned on the live camera and dog mode is now enabled. So uh, keep in mind also my trunk is closed. So let's get, get out of this again. Open trunk. And I just heard it because my garage is right under my office. So if I get out of this again, go to the uh, Tesla app and look, sure enough, my trunk just opened. So again, I'll get out of it again. Close trunk. I heard a beep, so I'm, I'm assuming that happened, but it said that's done. And there goes my trunk closing. So I don't have a command for turn off puppy mode, but let's go ahead and create that. So we'll go back to shortcuts. Um, we'll create a new one. We'll go to search for Tesla. So we get the right one. And uh, there it is. And uh, dog mode. And we're going to change the name because again, we want the name to be what we want it to be. So we're gonna say, um, there we go turn off and not dog because it doesn't it thinks I'm saying dark puppy mode okay now also I want to say that when you're creating and by the way I'm going to hit disable dog mode when I say turn off puppy mode when you do these uh, when you create these shortcuts it may take a second or two to sync so it's not going to be on your watch like instantly Give it like, you know, a minute to sync over and then you should be able to use it with your watch in, you know, after that minute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, yeah, matter of fact, why don't we try it with the watch and see. So I've got my watch here. I don't know how well you can see this, uh, but I'm gonna hold the button down. Turn off puppy mode. Okay, continue, yes. Now it just told me this is disabled on Shuri. And it just even said it, and I just saw it happen uh, in the Tesla app. So there it is, turning off um, puppy mode, which I call dog mode. So have fun, create whatever shortcuts you need. You don't need them all, you know, unless you want them all. And again, if you create your own custom ones, you can say whatever you want to say, like open refrigerator, and <laughs> that could be the trunk or the frunk. If it's having a hard time understanding a specific Tesla word, Change it to your word that it understands better. So that way you get your custom shortcuts. And by the way, whichever ones you create here, also, as you just saw, work on the watch. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. It helps me out. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody.